We're in the University of Maine Herbarium, which has been around at least as long as the university. We have collections that predate the formation of the University of Maine here. And this facility that houses five different collections, uh, vascular plants, the higher plants, trees and flowers, algae, uh, fungi, mosses, and the collection that we're focusing on today. Well, we're the beneficiaries of, uh, of an amazing collection of lichens from northern Maine that include uh, lichens that uh, we have not got well represented in our collection. Well, we brought a um, collection of lichens. They're all from Maine, Maine lichens, that we had in our collection. Well, a lichen as a group is a, they're classified with the fungi. All fungi need carbon, like all living things do. And they get it from what they're growing on. Well, I, I would say it's magnificent because he's a world-class collector of the stubble lichens. And, you know, our collection was extremely weak in stubble lichens. He's got, he's got better coverage of the crusts, and uh, we've got better coverage of macro lichens. And you put them together, and you've got a really excellent collection you know, for all groups. So this has become the, the go-to place for anybody wanting to know where lichens are in the, um, in the country and, uh, and, and what species are where. We're heavily dependent on the natural world, what's out there. We may think that we can do everything on our own, but uh, we're heavily dependent on plants, trees, uh, all sorts of uh, aquatic organisms. And uh, the only way you know about them is to study them. And the herbarium is a, uh, a storage facility that enhances the understanding of this natural world and its study.